chose viticulture because that's what my father did for 47 years. My mother's family owned a place in Chile and it's very old and they used to make wine there but because you were a girl you couldn't stay close to. It was a mystery. I also come from a long line of farmers, gentlemen office type farmers. First interested in wine, well when I was young, um, you know, we liked to, uh, to go to parties. And when I heard you could make wine at home legally, 200 gallons, I said, yeah, that's good, I'm gonna try that. Adelone. Um, first of all, I think it would be the people who really attract me to that place and what they're trying to do. It's unpretentious and it's not stuffy. You know, I think that most people think that wine is, oh, you know, this thing I gotta you know, stare at for about 10 minutes and understand and then, oh, okay, oh, okay, now, oh, we can go in now? Okay. We want people to come out here and have a good time and really relax. Adelon is probably, it's very welcoming. Adelon is, is, is simple, it's easy. But what is important to know is that it's a great wine. My favorite time of the year is definitely right now. Uh, it's during harvest, when the, the wine really is born. The picking team, they are truly the unsung uh, heroes. We never see them because they do the work when we don't want to be in the vineyard because it's early, really too early or too late or too hot or too cold. And it's a very cold morning. It's obviously, it's actually the coldest morning so far since we started harvest in August. Here, actually, we just uh, made the decision a couple years ago, we're gonna go organic. But, uh, I mean, you get all kinds, we get gophers, like everybody else gets gophers. No, we don't put any bait. I mean, essentially, we just, you know, if we can't shoo them out, then that's basically it, that's the limit. Mariano is, is like the most efficient vineyard person I've ever met. And Tom and I usually get together, we kind of strategize. Yeah, I kind of say, okay, look, I went out to that vineyard, here's what I'd like for you to do, so that by the time harvest gets here, no questions. He usually do, does things before you even think about it. Those small details is what makes the difference. Ah, Marcia. You know, she's more like a sister to me, <laughs> making sure I say thank you and excuse me. And she's extremely well respected by her team and it's amazing. She never raises her voice. So we have uh, two people in the cellar uh, who work with Marcia. It's uh, Fernando and Jose Maria, and they are fantastic. The cellar guys are the real winemakers. They, uh, they're the ones that do all the work. More intensity. I know Tom uh, since a long time ago, maybe 10 years. Uh, he has a very uh, black sense of humor, um, very funny too. A winemaker answers the phone and makes photocopies and sends faxes and emails. Tom, wow, Mr. Laidback, okay? We know that. Tom is Mr. Laidback, but he's very perceptive and, he, and he's very in tune and very intelligent. The human genome is, is 90,000 or something like that? and the grape genome is 120,000. So there's more genes in a, in a grape vine than there is in a human. Wow, I like that. <laughs> so they're smarter. So they're smarter, yeah. There's a word that for me as a foreigner, I didn't understand it right away. He said, Amo, what I look for in my wines, it's yumminess. Okay, well, yumminess. What is yumminess? It's somewhat of a, of a comfort food, and your, your body actually reacts to the flavors as going, yum, <laughs> this is good. Stunning. It's like right now going, uh, where's my steak, uh, and where's my second bottle? It's really 
about developing a personal palette because you're the one who's going to enjoy it. So I just want to welcome everyone to our very first annual, if you'll come back, harvest party. So <laughs> we are so excited about this and so excited to have you all here. It really feels like family, not just friends. Tom is walking them through a blending seminar to demonstrate how the wine Cabernet from four different vineyards, four different locations throughout Napa, tastes different and then how you would put them together to create the perfect Cabernet. It's not too analytical really, it's, it's more of a good vibration. He often equates wine to music. As far as Adelon, I'm sure it would be a full piece orchestra. Avalon, for me, is about a sense of place, being part of the Avalon family. That is so rewarding. That is so Avalon. <laughs> 